Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the JR Products double rocker switch here on our 2022 Grand Design Imagine travel trailer. So our neighbor originally only had a single rocker switch in here that was just controlling the lights that he has in the ceiling. He wanted to be able to put a new powered vent into this room here where he used to have just a non-powered vent. So we had to run an extra switch that way he could keep the fan on without the lights having to be on. If we had only run it to the switch that we had before with just the lights on it, he would have to have the lights on to also power his vent. So to combat that, what we did was add in a double rocker switch here and just trace that vent all the way over to our second switch here. Um, these switches can come in either black or white to match your aesthetic. He's already got a bunch of black ones all throughout his trailer, so that's why we chose this color today. The installation difficulty of these rocker switches is going to vary depending on your application. With us today, uh, we had a little bit more of an issue just trying to get the wire through the walls. Uh, if you have a tight space, if you don't really have access to get over to an area where you already had a switch so that you can double it up like we did today, uh, it can be quite challenging. You may have to hide your switch in an unusual area or you may just have to cut extra holes into your walls and replace trim and really try and run that wire through. So that's where you're really gonna have your most difficulty. Other than that, just hooking the wires to the switch itself is fairly simple because there's just these little prongs on here that you can use a spade terminal with. So to begin our installation, we're gonna be removing our cover. This will just snap right off. Then you can take a drill and just pull out your screws and we now have our switch free from the wall so the next step we're going to do is we're going to trace some wires up through our opening here over to where our vent is going to be so right now i'm taking some fish wire i'm just going to push that through our ceiling from where our vent's going to be over down to our switch so this isn't something we can really show you guys too well you just got to kind of feel it out this can be a bit of a process depending on your application, but overall I think ours will be pretty easy today just because there's quite a bit of space in our ceiling here. So I can kind of get my arm in there a little bit better than I normally would. So now that I got my wiring pulled through, I've got my power and my load wire here. We're gonna go ahead and start making our connections again. Here is my original hot and a another jumper wire that runs off to something else in the trailer i'm going to be putting that together with a little looper wire right here i'm going to put these together just how they were before but we're going to add on this jumper because this is what's going to power our fans switch i'm actually going to use a pair of pliers to kind of squeeze this just a bit more just because this is pretty thick at this point and we're going to take our spade terminal, make sure we get that on nice and tight. And we will crimp that down. And we can give this just a quick test real quick, make sure our switch is still working. As you can see, I'm flipping the lights on and off, so we're good. We got a nice tight connection in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put our jumper and our power wire for our fan together. And we'll use another spade terminal. Crimp that down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my load side for my wires i'm going to be putting a little looper between these two so that i don't have to try and run my wire out to a different ground when i know i already have one right here but we'll hook on our spade terminals get them on there nice and tight and crimp them down i might have you say the line crimp them down to say okay. and crimp them down <clears throat> I'll do it with this next one. Okay. We're on. 
So as we put these ring terminals on, we're gonna go ahead and get them nice and tight and then crimp them down. Then we'll just want to make sure that we're placing them back on the same side as our light and for our vent. So I'm gonna take my multi-tool here and kind of just cut this out. I've already felt back here, made sure that there's nothing else in the way. And I'm gonna hold my wires over to the side because I don't want to take a chance of cutting those. see if that's enough you don't really have to cut off too much just because this is really just fill them in the space a little bit extra space than what our original switch was which it's a little hard to tell with the wiring kind of getting in the way so when you're looking at your double rocker switch you're gonna see a small plastic piece that kind of sticks up that's gonna be the top of your switch so the first prongs that we're gonna be connecting to is going to be our power and the bottom one is gonna be our load. And I've already, as you can kind of see, I've kind of bent them away from each other a little bit just because the spade terminals are kind of just too fat to really sit next to each other like that. So you can do a little bit of bending. You just wanna be careful you don't bend too much and actually break the prong off. So now we can go ahead and hook up our wires. Going to put that left side being our lights, the right being our vent. The brown wire is going to my vent, so I want to make sure I have that on the same side. And this red one was the original for our lights. We can go ahead, put that back on. We can test our lights, make sure they're still working. So we're still good. So now we can go ahead and make our connections up on our vent. So now we have our vent in place. I can hook up my wiring from the vent to our switch. The white on our vent is our ground, so I'm gonna be putting it with our load wire, which is the brown one that we put on. We'll crimp that in place. And then we will put our positive wire to our positive from our switch. And crimp that in place as well. So with our switch on, let's go ahead and test our vent now. As you can see, we have power running to it, our fan's running. Once that stops, I'm gonna go ahead and flip our switch off. And as you can see, the fan is slowly coming to a stop, which means that it has cut our power. So we know our switch is properly operating now. So now that I have my wiring tucked up into the wall, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. Now this is not going to come with any mounting hardware, so I'm going to use the two screws that were on our single switch and I'm just going to add two more on. Get this right where I want it. I'm going to use that existing hole. Kind of keep me... ...level. And then we can take our new screws and in place. And we can pop on our cover. Well, I think that about does it for today's installation of the JR Products double rocker switch here on our 2022 Grand Design Imagine Travel Trailer. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.